Hello, friends and fans. This is Thomas Always Be Founcing here, and I'm back with another new items of 2019 video. But this is no ordinary new items of 2019 video. Oh no. For this new items of 2019 video consists exclusively of all the items I picked up at Day Out with Thomas at the York Durham Heritage Railway in Uxbridge, Ontario. I was there on August the 10th of 2019 during my four day vacation. Yeah. And believe me, it was well worth the wait. Because I had a wonderful time riding on Thomas's train and getting to see everything at the event. Which includes <laughs> the gift shop. As you can see with these seven bags. Yes, seven bags. <laughs> and there's some interesting stories behind some of these items. And I will get to them in this video. I will point out though that the gift shop along with the video viewing area, meets the top of had and everything else, was at the Uxbridge Arena this time. Whereas Thomas, of course, was at the railway, just down the street from the arena. It was still fun though. Very unique. Very different from 2015. And like I said, just a lot of fun. And I did get some shots of Thomas, both just sitting at the station and going out of the station and coming back into the station, which I will show you in another video. For now, though, our focus today is primarily on the new items of 2019 from Day Out with Thomas. And much like I did with the Hornby K1 review video, I'm splitting each section up so that way I can focus on one bag in one section and another bag in another. You know, just in case Andy give myself a little bit of a rest because truth be told I had only just gotten back from work about uh, uh, well, a couple of hours ago really. <laughs> and it was a busy day. Now before you ask, uh, the reason I didn't show this at the hotel was because, well, yeah, I could have done it there, but I would have had to pack everything up, and honestly, all I wanted to do after the Dale with Thomas event was just relax, because <laughs> I was there almost all day. Yeah. Yeah. So I didn't want to do it then. And the reason I didn't do it yesterday, which was August the 12th when I came home, was because... I was just exhausted. I had driven from Markham back to New Liskard. So, <laughs> yeah, that's the main reason I didn't do it then. But no matter, I'm doing it now. Though, it'll be much later when you guys actually see this video because it's going to take me a little while to put this all together and to post it. And now, with that out of the way, let's get into the bags. And here's bag number one. The very first bag from my first visit to the gift shop. And truth be told, I went up to the cashiers about five times. <laughs> they actually called me their best customer. I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm just a Thomas fan who really, really wanted to buy a lot of Thomas stuff. <laughs> and I'll tell you right now, I had a lot of cash on hand. So <laughs> I was able to buy up a lot of stuff. Yeah. But hey, don't take my word for it, just see for yourself. Now, of course, you can't go to Dale with Thomas and not pick up a wooden railway, or in this case, a wood product that's exclusive to Dale with Thomas for that year. And this year's is the Dale with Thomas 2019 Thomas the Tank Engine. Yeah. But not just one. Oh, no. Not just one. Um, is that the other one? No. Nope, that's not it. So, where is he? Where is he? Ah, here we go. I got two versions of him. Yes, two versions of Wood Thomas. So, what does this mean? Well, it simply means that one of these days, I'm going to open up one of these Thomases. And, in fact, it'll be this Thomas that I'll open up one of these days. So, I'll just put him over there for now. Camera focus up. Focus camera. Thank you. 
And now, let's have a good look at Wood Thomas in the box. As you can see, he costs about $17.99. That was okay. Thomas's face is actually covered up by that sticker. And there's the Dale with Thomas 2019 ticket. And here's the engine himself. From the front, he actually looks like a standard Wood Thomas. With the red buffers. Which looks really nice. It's only when you turn him to the side, you can see that he is an exclusive piece. With little, shall we say, symbols on him. And the ticket for Dale with Thomas 2019. And if we look underneath, Dale with Thomas 2019. Yeah. And the letters, by the way, are no longer in white like they were with the wooden rally pieces. Nope. This time around, it still shows the wood. But that's okay. As long as that's the only piece that's showing. <laughs> yeah. Overall, I really do like this Thomas. And I do like the design of him. I'll admit I was skeptical of Thomas Wood at first when they started showing the unpainted versions. But, you know, once the fully painted versions come in, or once the fully painted versions started coming out, <laughs> sorry about that, um, I was more interested in getting them than I was before. And so, here I am holding the Dale with Thomas 2019 version of Thomas. Now if we look to the back of the box, here's some info as well as a picture of Thomas. Pretty cool, eh? <laughs> yeah, and I can't wait to get his duplicate out of the box and put that one on the shelf. Now, let's dig into the bag again and see what else there is to look at. Okay, you've seen a fully painted version of Thomas from the Wood Range. But what about their predecessors before them? You know, the 2018 unpainted versions. Well, there were some at Dale with Thomas. And here's one of them. It's Percy. Yep, it's Percy. Priced at $13.99, and there's his CGI promo. The face looks nice. Glad he's got red buffers on him. But, of course, he's not fully painted. So, why did I get him? Well... You guys need to remember that uh, I am collecting these just to show off what Thomas Wood looked like before the fully painted versions came out. So it's a bit of a transition, as it were. Yeah. It still looks pretty good, though. And of course, he's got his name on the bottom. And here's the back of the box, which shows info as well as a picture of the 2018 unpainted Percy. And please ignore the sounds in the background. Uh, nothing I can do about that. <laughs> yeah. Still looks pretty good, and he'll look good alongside the other unpainted engines I have in my collection. Now, next up... Uh, okay, we'll start with this one, then. <laughs> it's a new... Shall we say, pack of minis. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> My brain's not working today. Ay, ay, ay. Sorry about this, guys. <laughs> but yes, these are the Light Up Minis. And these ones are Charlie and the Red Rosie. Now, they're called Light Ups for a good reason. Watch this. Wow. Pretty cool, eh? I did get duplicates of them. Though, I can't remember which ones are which. So, I'll probably switch them out at some point. Because uh, I think one of the minis doesn't really work anymore. I think their batteries are dead. So, the uh, the mini with the dead batteries will go in the museum. Whereas, the lit up ones, the ones that still work, <laughs> well, they're going to go into my loose collection. Why? Well, why not? Because <laughs> they're pretty cool engines. Yeah. So I'll just put them here for now. All right, what's next? Ah, uh, yes. Now, some of you might be divided on this item because it's quite unusual. But I got it because it looks pretty cool. 
It's a Trackmaster piece, but no ordinary one. This is a turbo speed engine. Turbo Thomas pack to be exact. Look at Thomas. <laughs> he looks like that streamlined version of himself, only now with a visor. <laughs> and he cost me $23.99. And comes with this exclusive Thomas and two exclusive pieces of track. If we look to the back of the box, there's some info on this particular product. A nice picture of Thomas. As well as some info about the tracks. You can either speed Thomas up or slow him down. Sorry, I just had to do that. <laughs> and there are other items within this range, such as Percy and Diesel. And I did see the Turbo Jungle set, though you will not see it in this video because <laughs> it's a really big set. And honestly, I've kind of run out of room for huge, huge sets. Though that didn't stop me from getting a big set myself. <laughs> Though it wasn't that one. It wasn't that one. <laughs> but yeah, I got it because it looked really cool. So, here's one end of the box. And then here's the other. <laughs> so yeah. Turbo Thomas. A really cool one. <laughs> I think these were Target exclusives. Originally, but... Well, now they're at Dale with Thomas. And I figured, okay, I might as well get him. And I started off with Thomas. And spoiler alert, I did get the other two. Yep, I did. I did. All right, now to finish off this bag, there's another pack of minis. Ah, I'm going to get the bag out of the way. Here's the other pack. Emily and James. And they both light up. Really cool, eh? <laughs> yeah. Really cool. So, that's everything from the first bag. Let's move on to the second bag, shall we? Alright, on to bag number two. <laughs> this one, along with the next bag, I got at the same time. Yeah. At least I think it did. Oh, wait, no, 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 sorry, sorry. This was by itself, and then the next bag, along with one other, <laughs> came together. Yeah, yeah. There I go. Hmm. At least I think. <sighs> it was only a few days ago, and I can't even remember. <laughs> oh, well. So, I got a lot. <laughs> ah, here we go. Here's another Thomas Wood engine, and it's Emily. But not just one. Oh, no. Nope. Nope. <laughs> no spoiler alert for later. <laughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> Let's keep that back down a bit. But I got two Wood Emilys. Yep. I don't know if I said it once already, but... If I didn't, then... Uh, basically, I just wanted to get two versions of the fully painted Emily because I think it looks much better than the learning curve or the Fisher Price version. Now, not everyone's going to agree with me on that. That's just my own opinion. But honestly, I like this a lot better than the other two. I mean, don't get me wrong. I do like the learning curve Emily, which I do have. Though, the slim design of this version of Emily just makes her look, well, better. Yeah. Anyway, I just need to have a quick look at the boxes to determine which one I'm going to open up on another day. Uh, okay. That one will be opened up another day. Let's have a look at this Emily. As you can tell, she's got her big driving wheel. And she does look really good. Even to have fully painted buffers. The face looks really nice. And a lot of nicely painted details. There's her tender. Which does look really good. And there's her name on the bottom as well as Emily's tender. Yeah. I'm glad that uh, Fisher Price and Mattel decided to fully paint these models because, well, they just look really, really good. 
Yeah. And plus, too, they'll sell off the shelves a lot faster than the unpainted versions. No, just saying. Anyway, there's her picture on the back as well as info. All right. So, there's Emily. And now I might as well get that little spoiler out of the bag next. Uh, if I can find her now. Oh, jeez. One. Okay, where are you? Where are you? She's hidden amongst all these trains I picked up. Ay, ay, ay. Nope. Nope. Here we go. <laughs> all right. Now, which one? Okay. There we go. It's Nia. Yep. I picked up two versions of Nia. The engine from Africa. There's her CGI promo picture, and she cost me about $13.99. And this is Nia's only wood version. There is a prototype unpainted version, but that's never been released. Honestly, I'm glad they decided not to release the unpainted version because, you know, the fully painted version looks really, really good. I mean, she's got her painted buffers. She's got all that nicely painted details. Honestly, she just looks really, really good. I bet you more than anything, she'll look good on my wooden railway tracks when I get her duplicate out. Yeah. Anyway, here's her picture on the back as well as some info. Really cool, eh? Really cool. Alright, I'm going to put Nia there for now. And next, I'm going to pull out. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. I guess he wanted to come out next. Yep. <clears throat> Just give me one second here, fans. Need to have a good look at the boxes. Determine which one I'm going to keep intact. All right. Here we go. While I did get the 2019 Dale with Thomas exclusive Thomas, I also wanted to get just a standard Thomas. At around $14.99. Yeah. So, he looks a lot like the 2019 Dale with Thomas, Thomas, but of course he doesn't have all those banners and those emblems on him. So he looks pretty cool. And I look forward to running his duplicate on my wooden railway tracks. And right here's the back of the box. Really cool. I don't have the unpainted version of Thomas. And I don't think I'll ever find him. I don't know. One day, maybe. One day. Only time will tell. All right, next up is the 2018 version of Stanley at around $13.99. And to be completely honest, I'm not 100% sure if there is a fully painted version of Stanley in the Thomas Wood range. If there is, let me know in the comment section, guys. But at least now I got three different versions. Oh, sorry. Four different versions of Stanley in wooden format. The Learning Curve version, the Early Engineers version, the Fisher Price rendition, and now his 2018 wood version. Yeah. Anyway, here's the back of the box. All right. So I'm going to put Stanley right next to Percy. All right, and next up we have, ah, here we go. Salty, the dark side diesel. <laughs> and that was terrible of me, sorry. The wood salty actually looks kind of bulky now. So, honestly, if I had to choose between this one and the Learning Curve or Fisher-Price versions, I'd probably go with the Learning Curve and Fisher-Price versions. I still like this one. It looks really good. I mean, he's got those yellow paint buffers. The face looks nice. And he does have a fair bit of detail on him. But of course, this is the unpainted version. One day I hope to find the fully painted version. And here's the back of the box. 
And no, guys, I don't have Annie and Clarabelle. I don't have Birdie. And I don't have Winston. Uh, I didn't get them. Namely, just the locomotives. Yeah. All right. So, who's next? Okay. Where are you? Hmm. Oh. All right. Yep. All right. So, as you recall, I did show you the unpainted version of Percy. Now allow me to show you the fully painted version of Percy. And here he is in all his glory. Camera focus up. And honestly, this Percy looks a lot better. I mean, he's got the red buffers. Got a lot of nice details on him. It's just really, really good looking. Yeah. Yeah. Percy. There's his info on the back once again. I think it's the same as the 2018 unpainted version, but, well, this is the fully painted version. Mm -hmm. So, yes. That is Percy from the 2019 range. And next up, well, we can't forget the troublemaker of Sodor. Devious Diesel. Got him for $13.99. The design of Diesel looks really, really good. Though, still a little skeptical about this one because of the unpainted parts. Another little spoiler alert. I actually do have the fully painted version of the wood Diesel. But that's for another video. Overall, he does look really good. And you can just see his face over that sticker for a CGI promo picture. Anyway, here's the back of Diesel's box. Meet the Troublemaker. He is a troublemaker, that one. Oh, yeah. Wood Diesel, the 2018 rendition. And here's some more Thomas and Friends minis. A 2017 three-pack. Well, two different versions of it. And I gotta determine which one I'm gonna keep in the box, actually. Um, hmm. Really hard to decide. Okay. This one I'll open up another time. So let's have a look at this pack, shall we? It contains three different engines that I didn't have in my collection originally. We got Snake Henry. <laughs> That's kind of weird, doesn't he? Construction Victor. And the original classic Rosie. So now, I actually have Rosie for my collection. The original version, to be exact. I'm sure she's going to look good in the rest of my collection. Along with that cherry red version I got earlier this year. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that bag's about ready to fall over. <laughs> i got to turn it around. And now, on to whatever's next in the bag. Okay, here we go. Um, is that it for this bag? Uh, let me just check. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it for that bag. Whew. Okay, um, which one? All right. We have a Shima, fully painted. I did come across the unpainted version at Toys R Us in February. Though I didn't pick that one up. Nope. Instead, I opted to wait for the fully painted version. And I'm glad I did, because this version looks really good. I mean, yes, the face looks kind of creepy. But, the fully painted details make up for the model. I mean, seriously, Ashima looks great. Truly great. I love this version of Ashima. Yeah. And here's the back of the box. All right. So that's it for bag number two. And I guess we should move on to bag number three. So stay tuned. 
Okay, and after a short little break, I'm back with the third bag. Yeah, I decided to take a little break in between doing these segments because, <laughs> well, I need to give my brain a little chance to rest. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be going, blah, 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 you know, that sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So anyway, let's get on to this bag. And the bag itself is actually another Thomas item. This is one of the Dale with Thomas exclusive pieces. Fast Friends, and it features both Percy and Thomas. There was another bag there, a Thomas with a goofy expression on his face, but uh, I didn't get that one. Oh well, one better than nothing. And just so you know, you will be seeing this bag in the museum in future videos. As for right now, let's have a look inside the bag to see what we got. Uh-huh. Here's the other Rosie and Charlie that are light-ups. And, oh, yeah, here we go, here we go. These are the ones that are gonna stay in the museum. Yeah, sadly. <clears throat> I know it seems unfair, but, uh, <laughs> well, let's face facts. I got tons of battery-operated things in here that have dead batteries. I mean, look at Talking Diesel there. His batteries are dead. Actually, they died out long after he just continuously played interesting story eh but yeah light up Rosie and Charlie so there we go another set of mini duplicates <laughs> and next up ah here we go is another duplicate pack though the last time I got the other version of this pack was in 2017 and I haven't seen this pack since. This one's got Steel Edward, Space Spencer, and Classic Henry. Oh, excuse me, just had a burp there. <laughs> yeah. Steel Edward. That's the one I wanted for my collection. I got it namely for that Edward. <laughs> because I already have the other two engines. Still, it's a pretty good pack and I look forward to uh, actually opening it up in another video, so it's not going to go in there. <laughs> nope. Ah, here we go. Another Thomas Wood piece. And this one is known as Dynamite Ryan. I don't know if there's a fully panned version of Ryan yet. Is there? <laughs> Blast the cargo out. So there's Ryan's face. His nameplate's on the side this time. And he's got sparks on him. And is that scruffy? And look at that. Scruffy is fully painted. So you can tell the difference between the two. I think this is the old Fisher Price version. A nice realistic load of dynamite. Cost me $24.99 to get. Start or end with a bang. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> and yeah. Ryan looks really good here. And I'm glad to have him. Though I wish I had gotten his wooden railway version. Oh well, one day, one day. Next up we have, ooh, here we go. A seven pack and let's see if I can find its uh, duplicate in here. Huh, that didn't take me too long. Yeah, two versions of the same pack. Now why do I have two versions of this pack, you might be asking? It's namely for Victor here. Um, I think there's a cargo car. Yeah, that's a cargo car. And Flynn. Granted, all the other engines are duplicates. Uh, but still, they look really, really cool. I'm just going to quickly determine which one I'm going to keep sealed up and which ones will be opened. Um, you know, this one's slightly damaged, so this one will go up in the museum. Here's the back of the box. Really cool. It's called Monkey Flynn, Pop Art Cargo Car, and Camel Victor. Hmm. Really nice. Really nice. Oh, yeah. A mini 7-pack. Let's see what else we got here. Oh. I think I might have found some 2019 uh, Wave 2s during my visit to Dale with Thomas. At least I think they are. Uh, yeah, I'm spoiling a lot of these surprises for you guys. Ugh. I'm trying to find them. 
this it yeah okay so yeah this is the next three pack here which has millie scruff and henry i'm going to quickly determine which one i'm going to keep sealed up and which one i'm going to open up mm, kind of hard to tell okay this is the one i'm going to keep sealed this one Don't wait, that one I'll keep sealed. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> but anyway, now let's have a good look at the engines. I have face on Millie. It's pretty funny. And then look at Scruff. Yeah, I can hear you kids out there going, ew. <laughs> it does look kind of gross. And of course, good old Henry. Parrot Millie. Warm Scruff. And Henry. Quite an interesting pack, I'll admit that. Yep, quite interesting. I'm gonna put this here next to Turple Thomas. And now, what else do we have? Oh. Okay, now where's that other pack? Ah, oh, here we go, uh, no. Not yet, <laughs> not yet. There we go, there we go. Two more of the same pack. And I'm gonna quickly determine which one I'm gonna keep in the box. Mm. Okay. Oh wait, nope, nope. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Here we go. The one that's not damaged. So we got Emily, Young Bao, and surprisingly, that's Diesel. Look at Diesel there. He's got the yellow eyes. And Emily, oh my gosh. So this is Easter Emily, Dragon Diesel, and Chinese New Year Young Bao. Wait, Chinese New Year Young Bao? It looks like a classic Young Bao. Hmm, must have got them mixed up or something. Hmm, oh well. Still, really cool pack to have. Um, I'm just gonna put these guys here in. Sorry about the burps. <laughs> That's going to keep happening today. Okay, here we go. The other Emily and James. Hmm. Yeah, all right, all right. <clears throat> yep, these ones are coming out. Whereas these ones, well, they're going to get in the museum. Emily does work. I just have to really push down on the button, as I learned back in the hotel. Mm-hmm. All right. Who's next here? Uh, where are you? Hmm. Try to find that said pack here. Yeah. And actually, guys, I just made a little discovery here. I got. Oh, oh no. I didn't. Oh, I did. Huh. Would you look at that? I got four copies of the same pack there. Whoops. Oh, well, I'll just put them in other spots around the museum. <laughs> yeah, I get so much stuff, I don't even know what I'm getting. <laughs> Whoops, a daisy. <laughs> oh, well. <clears throat> you're having fun, you're having fun. So, uh, here's another three-pack. Again, i got to have a quick look to determine which one is going to stay sealed. It's really hard to tell with this one. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to say this one will be opened up. Okay. Now that I got that out of the way, we got a Luke, we got a Victor, and we got Iron Burt. Jester Luke, X-Ray Victor, ooh, an X-Ray, like that one, and Iron Burt, or Bart. What? It's called Bart? What? What? Hmm. Oh, wow. Still, how funny is that, guys? I ended up getting four copies of that pack. <laughs> Whoop. 
Oops. <laughs> oh well. Ugh. Had fun anyways. And for the last item in this bag, I think it's the last item in this bag. Yeah, and I'll put the bag over here because unlike the other two bags, that one belongs in the museum. So here's a three pack I will open up later on with Steel Samson, Bill, and Birdie. I nearly got it for Samson. You know, because he's one of the steel engines. Really cool one. Okay, now that's everything from those three bags thus far. And now on to bag number four. 